G'day folks, it's cray opening. It's cray season opening 2021 and I snuck down to my local waterway to see if I can catch some crayfish. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Right now it's very early in the morning and this is a bit of a modified cray fishing season. We're currently in lockdown here in Victoria thanks to this horrible COVID bug but we're allowed to still go fishing as long as it's no more than five kilometers from home and for no more than two hours. So I've snuck down here to my local You've seen me cray fishing in this spot quite a few times before and I wasn't planning on coming here today but due to the five kilometre rule I, uh, I decided to come here. Once that rule is lifted I'll go a bit further afield. Anyway, it's early, let's get the nets in. Right, now I've got two different sorts of baits spread across five nets. I've got two nets rigged up like this with dry dog food in a stocking and I've got carp in three nets. I came down here bait fishing a couple of days ago and uh, in my two hour window of opportunity and I was actually cod fishing hoping to catch a cod but I caught a big fat carp and I'm going to use that for bait that video will be coming out soon too I was hoping to release that before this one but it didn't happen I'll call it catching my crayfish bait or something along those lines All right, net number two has got a carp head in it and it can go just out there oh look found someone's bells. It's amazing how often I find bells when I'm down the river. All right, net number three has got carp centerpiece, I suppose you could call it. They can go just out there. That looked like it might have been tangled. Why not? They're much shallower these nets, but they still tangle, I reckon. I will try that. Net number four. Now these are new nets and they're a little bit shallower than what they used to be. But if I get too many tangles, I'm still gonna modify them. I'll take the bottom ring out and uh, make them a uh, shallower net again. But anyway, we'll see how they go before I take any drastic action. All right, now net number five. This is one of last year's nets. You'll see I've modified it. I've taken the bottom ring out so that it can't tangle. It makes it easier to throw them out further. And I'll probably end up doing that with those other four nets. They're all brand new then nets. I bought five brand new nets. I've got a spare one in the car and the other four just there. This is one of last years. I can really throw that out in the middle and know that it's not going to get tangled. Right, Righto folks, the nets are in. It's time to play the waiting game and it's freezing cold. I've got five nets. I've got dog food net. There's the second one here. Carp head net, carp middle net, carp tail net and dog food net. Five nets in, now I'm gonna set up my deck chair and put my hands in my pockets because they are bloody freezing. To winter the current temperature is plus 0.1 degree and that's okay because the last four days in a row have between been between minus three and minus four we've had a very very cold week and that water is icy cold also at the moment i'm filming on wide angle and i normally use linear mode with horizon leveling but i'm finding the video is flickering a lot so i'll change settings just to see if it removes that flicker particularly in low light i may switch back later on but we'll see what a glorious sunrise, or soon to be sunrise. All right, it's time for the first check of the net. Now this is a bit of an impatient check. They've only been in about 10 minutes. I'm impatient, I know it, but I just wanna see if I've caught a crayfish. Because I'm on a bit of a uh, time restriction, I, I would not be surprised if this is a uh, crayfishless trip. Even if I just catch one cray today, I'll be super happy. This doesn't feel heavy. Ugh. All right, net number one was a fail, but it was, success. it was a success in the sense that it wasn't tangled. All right, net number two, it doesn't feel very heavy either, considering it's got a big carp head in it. <laughs> All right. El Carpio. Mm. 
net number three. Nothing, I'll leave that out. One thing I've learned here in the past in this particular spot is when I've got two nets close together, don't throw that one back in until I've checked them both. All right, the first four haven't produced. And like I said, this could well be a crayfishless trip. But when restrictions are eased and I can travel a bit further afield, I'll go down to some places where I know there's a lot more craze. Can net number five deliver the goods? It does not feel heavy at all. If there's a cray in here, it's the size of a yabby. <laughs> Oh well, better luck next time. Rightio, time to check them. Uh, how does it feel? Not very heavy. And that's why, because there ain't nothing in it. Nah. I always look to see whether there's anything hanging under it because quite often the crayfish will come up under the net and you'll just see the claws come up. Oh, carp head's not doing much chop. This rope here is really good. I only bought this the other day at Bunnings. Oh, I've got one, look, a little weeny one. That makes me happy. It's not a crayfishless trip. I was just saying I'm liking this rope because it's good on my hands when I check the nets. Folks, I've caught my first cray of the season. It's only small. And I've only got two hours to go craying. <laughs> so I honestly expected I'd probably catch nothing today. And I've got a little one and that makes me really happy. I don't care that it's under size. Come on, let go, mate. There it is. I'm going to get a photo of my first cray of the season. I don't care if it's small and undersized, it's my first cray of the season, and I'm stoked. Right, so a lot of you people overseas, that might be quite large, because for a signal crayfish in America, or a crawdad, that's uh, quite big. But for a Murray crayfish, that's not even half the legal size. See you later, mate. But my smile is the legal size because I've got my first cray of the season. Hopefully when restrictions are eased, I can travel a bit further and uh, catch a few more. I caught him on a bit of carp. I got him on the carp body. Remember, as I said earlier, I caught this carp the other day fishing in my two hour window of opportunity and that video will be released really soon i said this morning that even if i just caught one crayfish today i'd be happy if i catch another one it'll be a bonus but i'm happy because it's not a crayfishless trip the current temperature has just dropped below zero oh look at this one another one beauty he's a much bigger cray he's still undersized though i won't even measure him but i'm i'm stoked i just honestly folks i couldn't be happier i could not be happier given the time constraints I was just going to say the current temperature has dropped to minus 0.1, so it's dropped below zero. No eggs, but undersize. I'll get another photo. Once again, not a monster. Twice as big as the last one and still undersize. <laughs> Crayfish number two, thank you so, so much for coming. Righto folks, it's time to check the nets again. I'd like to give them a little bit longer. I was hoping to give them closer to an hour, but this is the thing, this is the predicament. I've got about 40 minutes left. If I check them now, I can check them again in half an hour. That means I get to check them twice again. If I leave them in for longer, I only get to check them once. Sort of makes sense to me. So I'm gonna, just gonna keep running on half an hour intervals so that I can get a bit of extra checking done in my short time frame. The problem with uh, shorter intervals is that that's often the catch. Nothing. <laughs> right, net number Q. This hasn't caught a cray yet today. And it could have one on it now, but I don't think so. It has. Well, big, that's got a big one. A big calf eating crayfish. Look. Look at that. 
You beauty! I'm gonna get a photo of that. That is a big carp eating crayfish. Have a look at that, it's got no eggs either. I'm gonna measure it and see if it's legal. I reckon it is. I reckon it's gonna be smack bang in the legal size. Right, it is 11. 11 centimeters. That is a legal crayfish. 11 centimeters with no eggs. I am well within my rights to take that home for a feed, but I'm not going to. I'm going to get a quick photo then put him back. Righto folks, he's a legal cray. He's 11 centimetres. See you later mate. Wow. Now I'm going to tell you why I threw him back. Crayfish are subject to some very, very stringent rules and regulations. They are, at the moment, which is 2021, you're allowed to keep two per day. They've got to be a minimum of 10 centimetres from their eye to their tail to a maximum of 11, of 12. So there's a strict slot limit and a strict bag limit. And that's because it takes on average nine to 10 years for a crayfish to go from being born from an egg to legal size. Nine years, nine to 10 years. That cray there's probably 10 or 12 years old. It takes them so long to grow. They're so slow growing and then we eat them and they're gone in 30 seconds nine years to grow 30 seconds to eat i've said it before and i'll say it again crayfish are not a food source they're a delicacy there's something you might want to sample from time to time if you've never caught one before i've eaten a few and i'm happy to put them back 99 percent of the uh the fun with crayfishing is catching them just catching them checking the nets looking for those big white claws coming up under the nets under the net just that that's the fun part the eating part is nice, but very, very short-lived. And given they're sort of vulnerable to being over-harvested, I'm happy to put them back, because I just love being out here and catching them. And I didn't do that with this net. This is the net that I got that little one in earlier. Such an awesome crustacean, the Murray crayfish. I would hate to see, years ago they closed them so no one could go craying. I remember there was a seven year closed season, or seven years of closed crayfishing, and I couldn't go, and I don't want my kids to have to face that. Well, folks, sometimes you've got to do the best you can with what you've got. And what have I got? I've got two hours, and I've made the most of it. I caught three, and I had an absolute blast. Would I love to stay here and keep crayfishing? Absolutely I would. But I'm not allowed. Hopefully this won't last long, and we'll get all our freedoms back. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have... Why not consider subscribing to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. And folks, stay safe.